the Joe Rogan experience. I mean, this, it's horrific. This, this, they set up this reservation and then everybody got syphilis. Everybody. Everybody's banging everybody, and they all got syphilis, and people's hair is falling out. Came they have ulcers over. all over their body, and people are going crazy and dying. Now, what if what if all that shit, oh, all the Indians had syphilis, were like jealous white dudes? They're not the Indians, who everybody. Are, the soldiers had syphilis. Everyone until had they syphilis. Got it. Okay, okay. This is but medical, you know what I'm saying, right? Know, they're saying. Like, Indians got fucked. syphilis. You don't want to fuck them. Meanwhile, no. the white chicks wanted to fuck the Indians. They're it's like, a, let's go fuck the Indians. It's the loony left right now, all the, the, the top of the loony left, the top yeah. of the loony left, the top of them, they're all going to go down for some shit. Okay. It's what not just Hunter Biden. It's not just Hunter Biden. It's Pelosi. Eddie. They want world wars. They want. You know what happened? Remember, remember, nine eleven. The day before nine eleven, Donald Rumsfeld makes an announcement that the Pentagon is missing yes. two point three trillion dollars. Right. Guess what? There was going to be a lot of investigations going on. People were going to go down for that. But guess what? Nine eleven happens and no one brings it up. So if we have a world war right now, uh, those people won't go to prison. What would you rather go? You rather go to prison or world war? Being famous was the, head, the greatest thing ever, and now being famous. It's not so great. It's like you're just a target, you know? It's like being It depends. A, you still you have a voice. The thing yeah, is if you can yeah. take the heat. Like I'm talking about people. I'm talking about being like a famous actor uh, or or yeah. a rock star. You're a target. I mean, look at the news these days. Look at the news. Look what they're saying. But who's watching over that, and Eddie? over nobody. No but really over and over. What the news over news? Over and over. They're wrong about everything, over and over. Three years of uh, Trump's a Russian agent. They gave Trump the Russian. They gave, that's the worst thing you could give a politician. He's a Russian agent. You can get killed for that shit. They gave him the worst shit. They gave him uh, uh, Russia, racism, rape. Nothing. They gave him all that shit. They nothing stuck. They can't, nothing stuck. But if they could do that to the president, they but could nothing, do that to it's any person. Even it's if all, you hate Trump, think about this. If Trump didn't win, the person that would be president right now would have a body count. Think about that shit. You'd rather have a person with a body count than Trump just because he's arrogant and overconfident and all that shit. He's a badass businessman. Econ the economy is better than ever. Better than ever. Unemployment better than ever. That's what we have a president here for, to make our country better, more prosperous. Why and that's what he's a, doing. Would you wear a MAGA hat? That's, <laughs> it's too dangerous. Are you kidding? It's too, you, if I wore a MAGA hat, I'd be like looking over my... You, if you wear a red hat and it says, make America Dude, great again, you just, just get killed. Look how powerful the media is. The, po the media is so powerful that anybody wearing a red hat that says, make America great again... It can get punched. Except for Kobe Covington. Dude, well, I don't that, know if it's that, the media that did that. It's of just, course it's it was. It's people's reaction no, to those hats. No. It's anti-Trump. It could have media. been a black hat. No, no, it could have been whatever the, hat. All the anti-Trump stuff comes from the media. What we're seeing now is we're seeing clearly now, clearly who is above the law. There are people that can do whatever the fuck they want. We're seeing it now. It used to be a myth, conspiracy theory, but we're seeing it now. Who is above the law? With all this is going on with Epstein and all that, and we're seeing how the media is backing them up to how interesting is that if that's all just a distraction to like uh, get people arguing make it so obvious that it was uh, it wasn't a suicide it's so obvious let's release it make it so obvious meanwhile he's still alive and everyone's trying to figure out how he died and and all they care about is that he's dead it, there's virtually a media blackout on it for the longest time but they gotta talk about something because the longer the mainstream media doesn't talk about it the more obvious it looks and it's waking everybody up you know how many people who are super anti-conspiracy theorists they're all into everything Epstein now. It's like when 9-11 happened, that woke up a lot of people. 9-11 woke people up. A lot of people say, well, it started with 9-11. A lot of shit's gonna, people are gonna say it started with Jeffrey Epstein. People that hate conspiracy theorists are all into it. All, yeah, Michael Shermer. I'm so balls deep and uh, there's a guy on YouTube who every day he puts out, all he does is, he, he's written books on gangsters and all that. And every day he puts out a Epstein video, an update, and it just goes deeper and What's deeper and deeper. His name is Sean Atwood. What's S the update every S day, though? Dude, it would take me two hours to, to go into. It's really all about Ghislaine Maxwell's father. He was the one who was originally doing what Epstein was doing. <sighs> Epstein took, so Epstein started banging Ghislaine. She takes him, she goes, you know what, you're gonna take over the family business. The family business is it's not just blackmailing the elite. That's a part of it. But the, man. A big part of it, I, right? You know a big what part of it. Dude, it, 
her father, he's the one, Robert Maxwell. That guy was a, dude, he worked, he, <laughs> I think they're just I don't mean distracting crazy. everybody. That, oh, it wasn't a suicide. I, the amount of deception that were, that, that's shoved down our throats, it's obvious now, it's all out in the open. So any plausible theory, you can't laugh at. Dude, he's no. in Thailand. Thailand. He could easily be alive. Why did they need to show 9,000 jumpsuits and shit? Look at all those like, jumpsuits. Like, come on, man. Dude, it's so obvious. Um, the craziest thing is like, Where's the video footage? Oh, the cameras weren't working. Oh, no, no, no. Did you see? That's not the see, craziest shit ever. See the- Wouldn't you think it would be a good idea to, to all get together and say, listen, every now and then some dude's going to, we're going to have to sacrifice one of you guys and just fake your death and then you're going to have to go to one of the islands in Japan or one of the, they probably have so many spots set up. Wouldn't it be smart? Go set up some spots in, in like the Greek islands or somewhere like in off nor- the coast of Norway, Greenland. Greenland could, who knows what's in Greenland. They could have all these cities for, for, <laughs> Yep. Like all these people that like are, they die, but you never see their bodies. They could just say, you know, they people used to fake their deaths all the time back yeah, in the thirties and forties. Yeah, yeah, but that they was before the internet. Death. It'd no, be I way know. easier to just kill Epstein. Way easier. You don't think he has a, a kill switch? Yeah. You know, it was tight with the royal <laughs> yeah, family. Going to the trap house. What? That's right. The trap house. Who? Oh. Try this. Epstein. Let's try some of this. Where shit. Are Epstein. We? Oh, this. Well, not only Epstein. Epstein was tied with the royal family. Real tight. Yeah, Jimmy Savile as well. So I mean, they yeah, were Epstein both. Was? Eps- yeah, Epstein he was and Prince with Jimmy Savile. See, the thing, what's going on now is the, the biggest phenomenon that's going on right now is with the internet. The internet is like uh, backfiring and uh, it's boomeranging back at the people. It was in, the internet was intended to control us and uh, surveil us. And now no, what's it happening? Wasn't. The internet was intended for scientists to share information at universities. Okay. It was invented we, that's from another, universities. Why'd they invent it? They were, it was all funded by the CIA. It was all a way to keep, it's, it's always about the new world order. It's always about the, the easiest way to control us. We can go on for five hours with this shit. It's almost like the CIA was created as a scapegoat. Like all, cause the CIA ain't going to jail. Where, this, how do you put CIA in jail? You can't. And then the directors, they're only there temporarily. They're in, out. Everyone like goes through it. But it's a re, like mm. if you find out some evil shit's going on, CIA did it. See, I ain't mm. going to jail. For sure, I, I'm a, in my heart, I'm a hundred, I, I, I believe it a hundred percent that there is some stuff in the Bible that's the real shit. There is the, it comes from the real shit. It got distorted and translated and all that. What do you mean but by the real shit? Like, like, a, like it's a manual on how to live your life, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you, these are rules. Like maybe God is the idea. Maybe God is the, and Jesus is the frequency. You want to get in that frequency of life? Don't deceive anybody. Don't, don't kill each other. Don't fuck each other yeah. up. Then you don't will be steal. in that zone. Yeah, That's yeah. what God is. Like yeah, maybe yeah. the book is a, a manual. I believe there's a God because um, a couple things. You know, when, when I, I did DMT, uh, I went into, I thought, okay, there's more, there's way more shit to this reality, this dimension that um, that we're that's not out there, seeing for all sure. The time. And then the more um, the more I get into, uh, you know, trying to find out what we're on and what what this is all about. And then you look at the mainstream. I think someone created what we're in. Whatever you want to, whatever you think this is, thinks assimilation. I think this is something. I don't. I don't believe in assimilation. There's no mm. evidence. Mm-mm. But um, <clears throat> uh, but it could be true. It could be. But there, there's. But you know, zero like, evidence. How do we even depressing. know that even happened? Like the the theory is billions of years ago, out of nothing, everything exploded. You what know, do you think happened? You know, well, you know who came up with it. Are you becoming religious on me? You know, you know who came up with it. Oh, dude, if you His start voice. talking about Jesus, said he. No, no, no. You know who came up with the Big Bang? You can oh. look this up right now. The Big oh. Bang is Hitler? a priest from the Vatican. A priest came up with that. Mm. It was a theory. Sign? Yeah. Scientist didn't. Nope. A priest. Are you sure? A million percent. <laughs> when you look at the history of the, of the Vatican, when you look at the history, Constantine decided to convert to Christianity because the people were leaving. The people were like, right. fuck that. <laughs> so this is mainstream history. Constantine goes, okay, I'm no longer pagan slash Luciferian. I'm no longer ancient Babylonian shit. We're, we like Christ too. We're going to do Christ. We're going to do, we got, our own, we got our own, we got, this is mainstream. We're going to start the Roman Catholic Church. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a Pope. He talks to Jesus like every That's day. Where we're going to have cardinals. Yeah. They talk to Jesus like once a week. And then we have the bishops. They talk to Jesus like once a month and then the priests every now and then and the, all of a sudden they created rock stars dudes with power the Pope has power he talks to Jesus every day cardinals bishops priests right so come on back we got we got Jesus for you they made Jesus into like you're some telling soup. us things we already know no no but what I'm saying is they were never into Jesus 
when you look at the Vatican, they have a lot of fucking Luciferian shit. No, look at look at the resurrection. <laughs> look at the sculpture of the resurrection. Pull that up. The sculpture, and you tell me if that's Jesus. That does not. That's supposed to be Jesus right there. There's go. This is supposed. It looks like a Slayer album cover. They have a telescope called Lucifer and Swear. It's, no, it's, they not, don't have the, it's biggest the biggest. It's not the, the biggest world. telescope. You've gone too far. You think that's Eddie, how crazy is that, right? How about far. it's real? How about it's real? The Vatican has been. Uh, it's a beautiful place. I love it. I'm ca- I was born Catholic. I was born Catholic, and every, you know I'm Eddie, all you down for the Catholic Church. You're have I to love wear the a Pope. Wig. I love the Cardinals. I love the bishops. I love all of them. <laughs> You're backtracking. The Vatican that. has an observatory real, in Arizona. It's named real, by bro. Jesuit yeah, Eddie, astronomers. Eddie's actually, Eddie yeah, why they name it Lucifer? Cause, exactly. Cause it's, a, it's an acronym for something, but it just so no. happens to be Lucifer. Yes, it no. is. It's like, no, uh, really? They picked the L. Yeah, they skipped like four letters. That there. doesn't make any sense. How do they call that exactly. Lucifer? Exactly. That's crazy. It was a coincidence. I just hope nothing happens with this Iran shit. Nothing's gonna happen. That's I mean, crazy. we talked about this earlier. What actually happened is when they bombed, when Iran, like they sw- swore revenge, they raised their red again. flag, and they were gonna bomb. Twice, They man. bombed and they killed nobody, <sighs> but wrong. in their media, they reported that they killed 30 sure. Americans. Sure. So it looks like a sure. real retaliation. Gotta save face. That's Flanton. what it's all about. Yeah. Gotta rattle Because when it all comes down, yeah. Dude, we're surrounding around. Ar- Ar- we got military bases yeah. all around Iran. What are they going to do? Like, well, what happened what was is they made a lot of deals while Obama was in office, and Trump was like reneging on all that. He's like, "Who made these stupid right. ass deals?" So Iran's right. like, "Fuck you!" I thought we had a deal. Trump's like, "Fuck that deal. That deal goes against the United States." Yeah. So fuck all that. So that's what's going on. So it. The rumor is. The rumor is that the uh, the president of Iran. The wasn't Ayatollah. getting along with Soleimani anyways. So Trump said, said I got you, let's, fam. Let, let's take him out. I'll do you a favor. I look like a bad motherfucker. That's possible. That's and then you say we're going to get revenge. You bomb uh, a base that has nobody. You, That's very you claim You claim that there's 30 people and everybody in Iran sure. goes, oh, we, we got revenge. I can see that. And then everybody's fine. There was a, an interview and they were asking some jujitsu interview. Why are you a conspiracy theorist? And I said, why isn't everybody a goddamn conspiracy theorist? Mm. We all know the government lies. But you'll like and this. Then, and then you believe official stories? Doesn't make any sense. But you'll like There is two sides. That's the there is, there's YouTube, two sides yeah. and they're polar opposite. Right. One is right, one is wrong. So it's really easy to figure out which one's right and wrong. You just got to Figure out for sure who's full of shit. Let's see who's for like, sure. Where's it shit. coming from? Hillary Clinton's full of shit for sure. Uh, CNN's full of shit for sure. So uh, 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 Joe Biden full of shit for sure. Adam Schiff full of shit for sure. So you know what? Out of those four people, they're all saying the exact same thing, and they're all full of shit. And who else is saying the exact same thing? CNN, MSNBC. So we already know. Okay. So by process of elimination, you know that shit can't be. But real. you sound like Tucker they're Carlson out. right now. What about Tucker Carlson? There's two sides. You got to pick one side. Dude, pick one a side. side. One side is is Tucker Carlson, and one side is Hillary Clinton. No, I don't. No, I you can, pick I a can, side. There's two sides. I told you, don't let him get off no, the No, but there's not two sides. I don't I have pee. to go all the no, way. There's three, no, there's three. No, there's three. No, there's three. There's three. There's three. There's three types of people. There's three. The first one. First one. People that think Hillary good, Trump bad, right? Where you at? The second people, the second type of person is people who think Trump good, Hillary bad, and then there's the third type. That think both of them are bad. No, no, there's That's also, there's there's also only three. nuance. Good people must behave corruptly because it's an economy of influence. But not all of them, though. No, not all of them. No. Because if they were all corrupt, there would be no reason to suicide anybody. No, there would be true. no reason to bribe anybody. There's good people in there. Yes. If you fuck up, someone's willing to kill a motherfucker just to avoid justice. You don't have to kill There's always anymore. good people. You just have to figure out which who are the good people. You know, I then, believe Bob now, Lazar believes all that shit. I believe he does. But you does. don't believe it's true? I believe he's, he's set up. They let him talk too much. No, no. Like, how are they going to let them do Netflix and they're going to come on JRE? If you're on Netflix, they want the deep state wants you on Netflix. I think he believes it. You know, just like William Cooper. I think he he figured out he got set up. He thought he was being set up into he he thought they're trying to get us to believe in aliens so they could fake an alien attack so that'll usher in the new world order because what happens if the aliens attack we all unite and all the movies you see them in the movies like oh they're attacking let's call china china's got this new thing and the russia and then we're all together we all unite that's the whole purpose of everything he goes they they're setting up a fake alien invasion that's what they're doing okay I really am happy that the comedy scene is slowly getting 
braver with jokes. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's a weird thing because in the 80s, it was uh, like the cool thing to be a liberal and I'm Democrat and mm -hmm. Republicans, they just, they're just Christians. They have family values. They don't want to get high or go to heavy metal concerts. Fuck Republicans. But as you get older and you have kids, and I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but it seems like now the cool kids are Republicans. Because when I grew up, there were no family values, and I thought family values is yeah. a way to control you. They're trying to control you with the family values in Christ. Yeah. And the older you get, you're like, the f I was a fucking idiot. Yeah. Of course it's all about family. You gotta have values. A dude with no values is a dude you can't trust worth a shit. You know what? Um, I used to think growing up that giving in to your desires was like, that's your right, that's my right. If I'm horny, I'm gonna fuck. If I wanna party, I'm gonna drink. And these fucking right-wing people from Alabama, they're trying to throw Jesus down my throat and trying to push you know uh, push their family values and but i swear now dude i'm not republican i'm not claiming republican at all or anything but i get it now i get it because i have a kid and there's no way anybody is gonna convince me that because some fucking kid with pink hair all looped up on pharmaceuticals, shoots up a mall, that it makes sense that I give up my guns and this, I can't protect my family. These are long, comp we're, 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 yeah, we're gonna get to the weeds. That. Well, what you're saying is 100% correct. Everything you're saying is right. The problem in that, what, fu what fucks everything up is people getting blackmailed and people being compromised, and those are the people that are making the laws and they, the, those laws affect my family, that's where it gets all fucked up because everything you're saying is right, but that's not what these people, these certain people, not everybody, there's a lot of good people in the government, a lot of good people, and it's I'm, fa I'm fascinated every day finding out who they are, right. and then boom, you group them all together, and like, those are the good guys, those are the bad guys, let's watch, and you make your popcorn and you watch the fucking show. Hey, you know what people tell me, you know, like, are you, oh, that's all you do is study conspiracy theories, and I'm like, no. On the weekends, dude, on the weekends, I am blue pilling myself. On the weekends, baseball with my son, karate, we go to the fucking watching the Disney cartoons with all the space shit in it. I we I blue pill with the fuck out of I don't try to get my son into conspiracy theories at all. That's gonna be later. I'm like, I just want that's him. That's gonna be later. <laughs> that's later. I'll get him when he's like 15, ah! 15, 15. But right now he can't handle it. There's no uh, way. There's no way. Would, he doesn't would, need shouldn't that. ask him to. And all his whole life, every minute is happiness. Just love and happiness and we just we Beautiful. just want to make him Beautiful. every day he loves school more than anything he loves school more than fucking he loves school and then after school it's all about fun and he decides what we're gonna do he calls the shots you're gonna go to karate man. he goes today we're gonna do karate and then we're gonna because he's all in the baseball too and then we're gonna go to the batting cages I'm like boom that's it we go to karate batting cages then I go teach jujitsu then the next day he'll say daddy I think we're gonna I'm gonna take a relaxation day worked a lot the last couple <laughs> days well, let's go get a, let's order a pizza from from uh dino's in burbank amazing and then we'll watch some teenage mutant ninja turtles he's all about teenage That's mutant. Hilarious. he decides my dad my dad had 19 kids and i was just one kid with my mom it was like a weird off side like he had a family with five kids and then he got a bunch of other women pregnant. He was all over the place, truck driver. He had 19 kids. I was one of 19, he had out of eight different chicks he was banging. And he um, never, I found out, I met, I met a couple of my half brothers and half sisters that were, were actually part of his real family. And we met one day, we went to the old spaghetti factory in, in Hollywood and he told, they told me all about him. And I didn't know, I thought he had five kids. He had a family with five kids and my mom was just some chick, you know, he was seeing on the side. That's what I thought. I didn't know he had a bunch of others. He goes, how many, they go, she goes, how many, how, my half sister goes, how many, I was half, my half sister, half brother. He goes, how many kids do you think your dad has? I said, uh, six. So how, try 19. I'm like, damn. I go, he's like Helio Gracie. Holy shit. Real similar. And one thing that he never told any, he never said the words, I love you to anybody, to his like real family. He never said it to me because I would see him like once a year. That The words never came out of his mouth. I never told my mom that. Apparently, he's one of those guys that will never say I love you to anybody. And I'm the 
opposite, dude. I tell my son, I look him in the eye every day. It's like, you know who loves you the most. You know, I'm the one, I love you the most. You're the most. And I whisper in his ear, I'm like, you know, I'll kill anybody for you. Don't you ever forget that. Whoa, Don't. you're getting crazy. Oh, but I get is, crazy it, with it them every important. day. But it is important. Yeah, I want I got, people know that you love them. And then them. it's a funny thing. Because now it's a funny thing. Like, first he's like, okay, dad, okay. And now he goes, I'm not going to let you forget. Because, daddy, I won't forget. I go, you promise? Because I won't forget. I go, I just want to make sure you don't forget. And he goes, okay. And he goes, I, daddy, I won't forget. I promise. And, I'm like, oh, and I hug him that's every awesome. day. I'm living for him. My, that's why I shave my head. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing washing my hair? You know what I mean? <laughs>